those who suffer, those who are the victims of terrorism, drought, natural disasters and various other things. We know about drought, a lot of things. Now the modern media network that has linked that with each and every global move. So we have to think of them and we have to meditate. Those two principles are considered to be the motto of meditation. Meditate to meditate. Meditate for those who don't meditate and meditate for those who don't meditate that they should meditate. This is the motto of meditation. So apart from this motto of meditation, I want to say something about the integral network of meditation. What is meditation? I have already told by sitting and closing your eyes, it is not meditation. It is a complete network. It is an onto neural network which comprises of eight limbs, you know, Ashtanga Yoga. First of all, your person must be qualified with its external and internal restraint. That is known as Yama and Niyama. So unless your person is qualified, you see, making a body flexible, moving the body is flexible, that happens in various occasions. In dance, we move our body. That is cultural movement. In puja, punaskara, everything we move. That is known as mudra. Or yaga bhava, or puja bhava. In that also we have movements. That is in the process of pradikshana, in the process of namaskara, in the process of avahana, upasthana, visarjana, and various other executions and rituals, we move our body, some parts of the body. Dance, we move most of the parts of the body. And in athletics, we move our body. Specified movement of the body is there. In gymnasium, we move our body. In wrestling, the body, it plays the major role. So, body is moved in various positions as per the requirements in various skills. What is the difference between those skills and their movements correlated to the movements of yoga, asana? So, it is the movement. Athletic is the movement for execution of the particular act. It may be jumping, which is known as a target acquisition. Common it is known as target acquisition. I want to touch this. I want my product to reach that target. So this is known as target acquisition. Gymnastics, it is a show. And dance, all the bhavas are shown in various motions which exhibit the various rasas inside. So each and every movement has its own particular purpose. So the movement of the yogasana, the various postures of the human body in yoga shastra, it is nothing but making the body flexible enough to be a good receptor and reflector of divinity. That movement is entirely different from the movement that is exhibited in various other things. So if you want to just move your body for your physical celebrity, if you ask some person, like the great wrestler or like Muhammad Ali, if you ask the person that he is interested, whether he is interested in self-realization or not, that is entirely different. His goal is entirely different. So the goal of moving the body or positioning the body in various postures in Yogasana is for its spiritual adaptivity, spiritual reflection and spiritual receptivity. So for that it must start with Yama and Niyama. So a person must be well trained in Yama and Niyama. If a person is not well trained in Yama and Niyama, the process of restraint, then movement of his position, that is the body, like Marjarasana, Shashasana, then Mrigasana, just he is keeping the body in the position of, for example, in Dhanurasana, he resembles a bow. Marjarasana, he resembles a cat. Shashasana, he resembles a rabbit. So what is the difference between a rabbit which is always there in Shashasana and a person who just occasionally does the Shashasana? So Shashasana and Marjarasana, various postures of these animals which we occasionally keep without any realization it is going to give a result. All the asanas are permanently, persistently done by those animals, depicted, exhibited by those animals. What benefit do they get? So first it must start with Yama and Niyama, control of senses. Then if a person has the authority of control over his senses, he is qualified for asana. That person's asana is said to be the real asana, the fruitful asana. And a person who has qualified his body and his bodily motion and complexity under his control, that person only, only can have the caliber to deal with his vital body or his pranic body. So the pranayama and pratyahara is possible only by a person who has received the asana siddhi by attaining yama and niyama. This procedure is not there. We used to always say that, for example, if there is a person playing some game, like bar game, in which the persons used to jump in bar in circus, they are having physical fitness, they are having experience, they are having alternative bars, they are having persons to catch. Even if they fall down, they are having a protection net. So they are having a fullness integral system. So for qualifying, also as a protection shield, also as a booster, the yogic system, all the eight limbs, they are totally interrelated. 
and now we are seeing to totally the persons uh, different in the system of yogic practice in the society persons without knowing anything about yama niyama thinking yama is the god they don't know anything about yama niyama directly they go into asana and pratyahara is not known in the society pranayama is ruling and dhyana is there and without pranayama yama niyama direct dhyana is there the purpose of dhyana through dharana and samadhi does not exist so the integral system of understanding first the person's qualified restraint which potentializes his body to be spiritually adaptive then if the physical body the grass body is adaptive his vital body the prana sharira will also be adaptive if both of the things are under control then dhyana mind can be kept in control then dharana the vijnana can be kept in control then samadhi the ananda status the bliss status can also be kept in control so it is a totalitarian study of the school of mysticism in which all play equilateral and equipotential role it is known as a consummate system of yogic thought so no doubt you have to start with some process of meditation or few asanas but by understanding the substratum as well as the purposes the previous steps as well as the goals that you have to complete must be enrolled for getting the fullest success then the second thing apart from this integral system there are lot of systems of yogic thought and depending upon your person's taste desire and background they can select first thing is the eastern and western schools of study of mind and mind control and intellectual research self search etc we are having ancient and modern systems now brihaspati it has been told that there was a barhaspati samhita of yoga shastra in which uh, there is no mention about god and it is a system of atheistic school of thought of on yoga and lakshmi narasimha that is the narasimha devata he has initiated he is known as yoga narasimha he has initiated a pathway in which there is a devotion towards lakshmi narasimha for accomplishing this mystic success and yogeshwara krishna he himself he propounded karma jnana bhakti prapati yoga various type of yogas for understanding divinity and attaining the same meditation is for three things one is for understanding second is attainment and third is for distribution so the more you meditate you understand the more you understand you can attain the more you attain you have to distribute these three things are the goals of the schools of thought generally they have classified the goals of mysticism as these three things then apart from this there are two schools of thought also one is the autonomous school of thought and second is the lineage lineage means it comes on parampara like patanjali yoga shastra it comes on parampara autonomous school of thought lot of modern schools of thought are the different type of people isha yoga mayam you know that vedatri maharishi he started uh, some free space he jagji called jatakanta and jivakanta shakti and akasha is the parabrahmani in his school of philosophy vedatri in philosophy magesh yogi is philosophy there are innumerable schools of thought modern schools of thought they exist and the atheistic and theistic schools of thought they also do exist considering a god and taking into consideration his structure it is known as contemplative school of thought in which there is a devata upasana and uh, we classify these things as uh, that is shakriya the six tools or the six limbs one is poojana by means of worship second is bhajana which is nadopasana then havana which is on the basis of uh, rituals archana by idol worship then uh, kshetradana by pilgrimages upasana by antardhyana so these things are the six schools of thought that existed in our vedic way of life so these type of schools they do exist apart from which i want to conclude this session by saying that there are three uses three utilities for meditation one is the immediate utility second is the immediate utility and third is the remote utility or the most broad and utility the immediate utility is we must have three qualities basically in our life and uh, these qualities only enrich our relations and their permanence one is uh, adjustability second is adaptability third is upgradeability adjustability is even in in areas of conflict or imbalances trying to make ourselves attunable to the situation is known as adjustability and adaptability is even without adjustment directly capable of being uh, a capable tool the potential tool to handle any situation that is known as adaptability upgradeability is a situation in which we can upgrade ourselves and also we can upgrade others so if a person can adapt things if a person can self upgrade or upgrade others endo upgradation and exo upgradation if a person can adjust can adapt things uh, and also upgrade things adjustability is not hyper adjustability it does not mean that even if uh, somebody will be drinking or somebody will be doing all sorts of nonsensical works we must be adjusting or adapting the same thing there we have to use the tool of upgradation so adjustability must be 
on the grounds of adjustable areas and wherever there is adaptability possible we have to adapt and wherever there is a yeah, quality inheritance that is weakened inside a person that the person's moral the person's restrained or uh, self repentance or uh, thinking process that must be enriched by means of an upgradeability from your spiritual radiation so uh, we must have these qualities of adjustability adaptability and upgradeability without which we suffer in four relations generally we have relations but four bondages are there one is the bondage between wife and husband and second is between parents and children third is between the struggle between the syllabus and the students students and the masters masters and the parents students and the parents we have that of academic conflicts and apart from that the subjects and the ruler the subjects of the nation and the ruler so whenever in mass it cannot be possible just by a dust and it cannot be just envisioned in the dawn but if it is instilled if the seeds are sown today certainly within a decade it did not require even a century which it required before the media era now with this uh, tools of later advent we can reach the mass society we can get into the deeper hearts and we can get that uh, transformation by which uh, the family relations and academic relations matrimonial relations and the social relations can be well strengthened by meditation meditation has the immediate work of dealing with these all of these repairing technologies which is very much demanded by this era the second thing is mediate even if a person he applies science and technology number one second thing is political enrichment or good governance third thing is energy resources management so certainly we have to conduct a five days or six days workshop in which talented people can be brought in each and every subject how meditation can be brought into energy resource management how meditation process can cater to the need of a good governance science and technology then relationship management rehabilitation right like drug addiction prisoners rehabilitation terrorist rehabilitation etc then even athletic success I have been invited by the Athletic Research Institute of Ahmedabad to deliver a lecture on the role of consciousness and its application for athletic success by the Olympic Research Committee. So, if the persons do meditation, meditation is a broader thing, even though not for emancipation, even for their success within their limited principles or desires, they can execute meditation. Gradually, they can be upgraded to the level of thinking about God or universal spirit. So, for athletic success, also it can be. These things are immediate things. Likewise, we can also cater to the need of the universe. How? global warming is that more than these inventions are the green belt technology or the greenery technology by our meditation we can purify the ozone somebody must establish a research institute because it is a, an empirical era you establish a research institute and have a satellite connection of understanding the ozonic inputs and by mass meditation just as magarshi magarshi yogi is doing for this uh, terrorist uh, rehabilitation or uh, counter terrorism activities and for global warming lab that a project they do have we must have a satellite we must have a latest center for research we must have also our own info school edu stack and e learning systems by which this knowledge must be imparted to the various corners of society therein by empirically we can prove that uh, this uh, mass integral federated and uh, unanimous call cry and craving of good vibrant souls uh, will awaken the global spirit and certainly it will be answered by a fruitful reason it must be made known to the society by empirical demonstration that we have to do in the form of even this place is was here we can establish i feel that uh, within few years the research institute may be installed here so global warming that is also a big problem to the society then war terrorism that is also there natural disasters are there that we can preventively we can meditate because uh, the lot of seismic zones and the tectonic tectonic uh, plate oscillations have been predicted by this uh, seismographies now we can meditate for those benefits and there certainly that does work and uh, apart from these things epidemics and fatal diseases inter religious harmony and international relations these six things are very much essential for the world so starting from your adaptability adjustability and upgradeability of yourself and science technology athletic and other success for the nation and society and ending with a global warming problems and natural and artificial disasters epidemic and fatal diseases inter religious harmony and international relations we can achieve anything by meditation if it is pure if it is properly directed if it is properly nourished if it is properly irrigated by a vigilant and merciful master certainly it is possible so this is the ultimate goal of meditation and uh, we have to establish two committees one is uh, the benefactor second is the beneficiary all like minded people they must integrate together i already told in on terrorism 
uh, conference, I told that there is only difference between terrorists and patriotists. The patriotists, they seldom see and meet each other and discuss. They just speak in the platforms and they just go away. 